What's up, what's going on Legends? It's your boy Earl Shadow here, and in today's video, we're playing some Black Ops Cold War. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get easy headshots with these shotguns. If you guys are going for your gold camos on these, or maybe just overall diamond on your road to dark matter, you will have to complete 50 headshots with both of these shotguns. And this, in my opinion, is probably the most difficult challenge for these shotguns in general, except for possibly the point blanks, which is just more overall tedious and kind of a pain than it is actually challenging. So for those of you guys looking to get easier headshots, you found your way to the right video. We're going to be discussing that today. And just so you guys have a little bit of a heads up or a notice, we are jumping into private match in order to give some examples, or at least that's the gameplay that I'm bringing you guys today. Jumped into private match, tried to get the best examples I could. Overall, giving you guys the best idea of how you can complete this the easiest. And we're going to go over it as well as we move on in today's video. But before we jump into the rest of the content, I give you guys the tips that I possibly can. Make sure you guys do show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 30 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys want to find your way back to the channel for more Cold War content, maybe overall some tips and tricks, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But like I said, today it's all about easy headshots with the shotgun. Now, in order to do this, of course, I'm going to recommend that you guys go into Hard 4. Now, in the private match that I am showing you guys in the gameplay today, I did change the health down to 30, which is what it is in Hardcore. I didn't switch it over to Hardcore so that we could actually see the medals going off. Obviously, you're going to want to know if you got a headshot, and this is going to confirm it for you. But overall, it's just giving you guys a better idea of what to expect, better places you can overall kind of hang out at, or maybe just in general some tips that are going to make this a little bit easier for you. So first tip I'm going to give you guys, of course, is jumping into Hardcore. Now, Hardcore is obviously not the ultimate play way to play. Maybe some of you guys enjoy that a little bit more. Personally, I'm a core fan at heart, so typically I'm going to be jumping into core. You can complete this in both core and hardcore. I think overall it's less confusing, a little bit more straightforward, and a lot easier if you do jump into hardcore. But you definitely don't have to do that in order to use these tips in today's video. But hardcore is definitely going to be the easiest place to get this done. Now with that being said, obviously when you're using shotguns, you're typically the two that we have in this game. If you're up in close range, it should be a one-shot headshot, no problem, which is why kind of the difference between hardcore and core really doesn't matter all that much. However, you can guarantee it by being in hardcore, of course, whereas in core, there is still a potential that you might get a hit marker and not actually take them out with one shot. Now, why does one shot kill matter for the headshots? Well, typically, if you're going to shoot somebody in the head or if you're going to be accurate, it's a lot greater that your second shot's not going to be as accurate. Therefore, that first shot is really going to count. If your first shot is a headshot, of course, you're going to be able to take them down, and this will be less of an issue. I think if you're overall kind of panicking or spamming after missing your first shot, it's less likely that you're going to actually hit the headshot. And sometimes it can feel like you get a headshot when you actually don't get the headshot, even though it looks like it. So there is times where it can be a little bit frustrating feeling like you should be able to get that headshot and you just don't pull it off. Now, another huge tip that I can give you guys for getting this completed, besides obviously jumping into hardcore, will be to run a steady aim laser or the five milliwatt laser for the shotguns, just because if you guys are gonna be firing from the hip, which I suggest you do to make this a little bit easier, kind of easier to aim as you know an area as somebody's gonna walk past, when you are you know kind of hip firing and generally it's just going to be a little bit more you know accurate i think especially when using the shotguns it's going to allow you to get you know two more people what if multiple people walk through the door you don't want to be you know kind of ads it's going to in my opinion make it less likely you're going to hit the head can you ads and still get headshots absolutely you're going to see me do it here in this video a couple of times however most of the time i do recommend just hip firing as it is a little bit easier a little bit quicker and less chance someone's going to turn on you and pull the trigger so with that being said, make sure you guys do jump into your matches with a laser sight. You get the first one, the steady aim laser, pretty early on, so it shouldn't be an issue. I suggest, obviously, as soon as you guys get this camo challenge unlocked, you start going for it immediately. That way you're able to get those 50 kills, or 50 headshots, I should say, before you complete some of your other challenges. I just don't feel like it's worth having your last challenge as the headshot challenge. As I, Like I said earlier, I feel like it's going to be typically the more challenging one of all the camo challenges available for shotguns. Now, there is a billion ways you can look at this. A huge tip I'm going to say, and this is something I def definitely don't you know, normally advocate for, if you're going for camo challenges, you kind of have a little bit of an excuse, but you're definitely going to need to camp. Whether it's waiting in a corner at a doorway for people to walk in, you're just going to want to aim at approximately their you know, head level, wait for them to walk through, as you're going to see in the gameplay multiple times. Although they're bots, it's still possible people are going to do the exact same things. They're going to walk through the, your line of sight, giving you the ability to aim at their head and take them down. Can you ADS? Again, absolutely. Now, one thing I do recommend if you are hip firing, aim at the top of their head or just a little bit above, and you should be able to, you know, confirm the headshot. There's times where I felt like I kind of missed over the top of their head and still a headshot was confirmed. 
Therefore, overall, getting this challenge completed as fast as possible. You can get long distance kills in hardcore, which also makes it really helpful. You're gonna be able to get a long shot and a headshot in some circumstances. You're still gonna get the one shot kill at much more extended ranges. I think overall, it just makes it a lot easier. These are a couple of tips that I highly recommend for you guys going out there, having difficult getting headshots. It's overall just trying to plan where your enemies are coming from, whether it's waiting in a building in a corner for somebody to walk through a door, whatever it takes to get these challenges done, you're going to do it. If it's camping, oh well, at least if you're going for camo challenges, you have some sort of an excuse and you can go back to regular gameplay whenever you get those done. Now, are these shotguns going to be a pain? Yes. Should it be overall a difficult challenge? Absolutely not. I expect that you guys will have no problem getting this done, especially just following the few tips that I'm sharing with you guys today. Number one, hardcore. Number two, make sure you're using a laser sight so you can hip fire, make it a little bit easier for yourself. And then last but not least, number three, make sure you camp those corners and wait and plan. Just plan your aim at some direction you know somebody has to walk through. It's absolutely inevitable that they're gonna have to walk through there. Now, does this work on every single map? Absolutely, some maps are gonna be more challenging than others just for the simple fact that they are larger and there's not as many people going through those areas. If you're not gonna jump into hardcore, I recommend combined arms as you're gonna be able to get into 12v12 giving you more opportunities for people to walk by, more opportunities for you to get those headshots, overall completing your challenge as fast as possible. Now, if you guys have any more questions, or maybe I didn't cover something in today's video that you guys thought I should, as far as getting headshots easier with these shotguns, make sure you guys leave that down in the comment section below. And most importantly, if you guys did enjoy this video at any time, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button if you're new, hit that notification bell so we can see you in future videos. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.